But uh, I think actually it is tied up because it does say here we ought to be integrating more of our special needs pupils into our mainstream schools, and this will cut down on the amount of travel. So it is tied up. I think, I think the point to make is that we didn't ask the consultant to look at those things. We asked them to look at our transport. We bought transport together. We reduced the number of staff in this area quite dramatically. <laughs> The reasons I outlined, and maybe we had, we wanted to know how we stood against the world politics. And that's what we wanted them to do. And we wanted them to look at how they could help us make savings. Four and a half million pounds is a very big piece of our budget. If we don't save every penny we have there, we have to save it somewhere else with something else we do for children. But they, 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 they brought me down and they provided that rationale. It's actually quite helpful. <coughs> but uh, as I said somewhat uh, like I did before, Borrow our watch and tell us the time because it was not something that we were aware of. You know, we've known about this for a very long time. We've discussed it many times in this room. Councillor Smith, I'm just going to ask, um,
uh, linked with the previous question, really, because I, I think Julie's got some way to answer me. But I mean, it seems to me the director and, and um, Mr. Armstrong has sort of said that this report doesn't tell us anything that we we don't already know. We really like we commissioned this report uh, to ask us uh, to ask them to tell us how we can put this gap in our finances, and it doesn't seem as though they come up with any answers. I know that you talk about pilots and that sort of thing, but it says here on page 106 that the ITT pilot was uh, underway prior to the engagement of my power up there, so I don't understand what they, they've added here to the process. And obviously, they did cost some money, I presume, to engage these consultants. Thank you, Andrew. They didn't buy the but some, some of the things it gives us is we, we were recollecting before we commented in our economic plan, we've never had a, a review of transport like this. So it does give us some confidence that the way we're organising it, the, the way we're doing our contracts, the, the, the suggestions to our contracting, um, they, they look to all the folks on the whole, but at least 10 plus of those, and we will have very effective and efficient service. That in itself is valuable because we completely are the benchmarking with others in council. The other bit of concern is if they've actually actively engaged with these three constituency care carers. And we and they've engaged in a way that people are, are given more information. I think what we find with this as well is that people don't generally have a take their views or new thinking to talk in the local authority. There's a lot more but these independent people coming in have elicited views from parents that give us confidence about how to shape things, particularly about travel terms in the future. So that itself is looking at the people and appetites parents to help their children be more independent and more of an appetite to look at different approaches that are suggested. Thank you. Thank you. In terms of looking at this, this taking this on, we, we took this on at the council with these six costs. We took it on because having the seven point seven million years, we spent two of the time we spent the world of time in the other. So we took this on rather more accurately than the previous director took it on and gave it to us. And, and we had no way of knowing prior to this study. We were doing our we were doing our uh, good job before the contracts and getting the best value and trying to match the various types of vehicle and taxi and small businesses and big businesses, matching all that to the demands from the groups. We had no way of knowing how we were doing against the other authorities. And through the access to their data set, which they had to the other level authorities, we now know how we're doing. They also offered us a set of pointers for the future contracts. Clearly, they could have come along and said, actually, you can do better with this, you can do better with that, you can do better with that, you can do better with this, and you can say X. They weren't able to say that. that that's, that's, a, that that's a cause for satisfaction for managers who run the service. Clearly, um, it, it means that we can't look there at the moment to, to make more savings. They then put it into the, into the wider context. So I think, I think they did provide us with a lot. Um, and I think for the first time, I can't remember ever before transport being benchmarked in, in this way and set out as it's clear as it is in this way. And I think particularly given the turbulence we've gone through bringing it all together, we needed to know where we were compared to how we were being organised in this. And as I said, there are some, there's a unique feature of the world that the Commission does now. If you're saying traffic in Manchester, and you're a wedge in Manchester, you could have got contractors from Stockport, Bury, Manchester, Cheshire, all, all capable of tendering for your work. And we wanted to be, this has been really helpful to say to us, well actually, your contractors are doing it, their contracts are prepared for us, prepared to work with you. And I think it's useful to have a wide commission. And I think if it does help us, I think it's also given us support about the relationship, because what it said quite bluntly is uh, people trust the schools a whole lot more than they trust you. And that might be a difficult message, but it's, it's a real one because, as Julia said, it, it, these are interviews with parents. And if you want to develop more of the parent travel training, you want to pursue more people. We've got to do it in the schools. We've got to do it in a different way with a slightly different group of people. And if the parent, the carer, the teacher, and the head, and the child want to develop that process of independent travel to school, we need to think about how we can facilitate that. And yes, at the end of that process, that will help us make a say. I think that means we don't have to make that say elsewhere. What they don't mention in the report as well is Whittle should be well placed for independent travel training. That's where the peninsula comes to, comes to our aid. 
average cost of transport, and that there are options around to reduce the cost of that transport. That's the main purpose of my recommendation. Yes. And I, the, the second part, yeah. I think, would, would actually tie somebody into a piece of work which hasn't taken place yet, an African piece of work which hasn't taken place yet, and that's something I can't support. I think I was carefully choosing my words. <laughs> I'm, I'm not wanting to tie anybody to something that hasn't been done yet, but just not to, really, to, not to seek to reduce by quota um, at the number of children who are receiving these um, special educational needs. Not to say that there might not be work to go in. Well, when, when, you, when, you, when you look at comparative figures for different authorities and say, we're too high. I think at this point, and I, I don't know if you're the first such group we've had all year, but I think this is my thing. Yeah, the last one for you. Sure. Um, I think at this point, I would be happy to support that. I've had a good time to look at it and a point time to consider the implications of it. And I would feel safer and happier if we hadn't, if we didn't restrict ourselves in that way. Never ask what my thought is. Okay. I think that
tell you what's suggested here. Um, from the director. Um, the, 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 just a, an addition to what you said, which makes sense, that in future any service changes are informed by the new children and families that have changes and meet children's needs. So it would really, with my best about rather than just the <coughs> recommendations which relate to the high cost of transport and well, and the measures to address that this time, and then that's placed at the end as, as a whole recommendation. So, so we'll take a first part, a first vote on the element that Maura's got. Could, could we have in, in your bit that we commend the work of the Integrated Transport Unit because they have achieved this low average cost and when benchmarked, they were commended for that. Five minutes, folks. 